been right here on the ground for hours at this point. Yeah, our deputies have done an amazing job and we have a large team who have been doing this, but we're dedicated to figuring out what happened here. So tell us about what's, what, what are the next steps? Um, obviously a lot of unanswered questions. Yeah, a lot of unanswered questions. Certainly additional um, witness and, and um, family member interviews. Right now the crime scene is being processed and we're assisted with um, by the FBI. Those are the first steps, but we're doing many things. Yeah, but we're, sure. Um, last night, I think around um, 8 o'clock, and obviously it's tragic for everybody. Extricated from the building and gotten to a hospital, um, even while the scene was still hot. Um, my heart goes out to all the family members. Any update on the investigation, the possible motive, uh, those explosives, anything new you can tell us? You know, as far as um, the motive, that's probably going to take a while to sort out if we can ever determine. Um, one thing that we are releasing now is the suspect um, had on him or at the place where he died um, two semi-automatic handguns, but and then 11 magazines that were that were um, had ammunition in them. So. I know that our deputies and the officers that responded while the shooting was still happening are heroes. They went in, they confronted the suspect, and when they, when they confronted the suspect, he took his own life. Um, I believe that um, our people, the officers and the deputies, saved lives. No doubt. Wow. Um, anything new on those explosives? What were those? How long had they been there? Um, I can only speak to um, at BTA. Um, at those buildings. Um, our canines alerted on explosives in a locker, which was his locker, and there were the precursor things to uh, explosive devices, but no explosive devices. Um, San Jose Police Department is handling the fire in that crime scene, and I know that they also found explosive uh, material there. Are you all still processing here? As yes, far as? Okay. yes. Okay. It's going to be a while because of the large crime scene, and what we'll do is we'll actually have it scanned in such a way that it looks um, like you can walk through the building. You've seen those crime scene, and so that takes a while to set up all the locations because in one building there were five people who were shot and killed and in another building there were two um, that were shot and killed so it's a large crime scene. How many injured? How many injured are you? Do you None. have anyone else in the hospital or anybody no. else who was injured? No one. No one. All fatalities um, which is really heartbreaking. Did it seem like it was targeted like there were specific people this person was going after? You know um, we don't have full information on that. That is a possibility. Um, but but we're not certain. We have talked to all the witnesses. We're right there when he was shooting, and so we don't know why some and why not others yet. Did they say whether he was saying anything as he was shooting? Um, not that I've been told. Yeah. And any uh, stories about what the victims did in the, in the moment? So um, we provide law enforcement services to BTA, and um, we our team had actually trained all BTA employees what to do in an active shooter and had done an exercise specifically in that in that building with BTA employees. Um, they were told to hide, to run, to hide, or to engage the suspect. Um, I don't know what I don't know what they did. Um, we may have some heroes also with BTA. Some of them may have lost their lives, but um, but I think that they reacted as they should have and certainly with our um, entry team and um, able to extricate victims, that kind of protocol that we have in this county, I think what we did um, yesterday saved lives. Let's wow. talk about when did you do that training? Um, within the last year. What within the, yeah, and actually an exercise in that building. Wow. So, yeah. So but a lot of employers are doing that now, and it's tragic. What is happening in this world, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever find a motive uh, for the suspect. Can you tell us how many people were, were, were at the location at that time when the shooting took place? You know, I don't know the number. I, I know that we had a number of people in our building that had been witnesses, and there were probably about you know, five or ten of those people. I don't know how close they were to the shooter or actually how many people were there. But there was a union meeting, is that what it is? 
You know, I've, I have heard that said. I, I don't know that firsthand, and I would be the person who, who knew. I believe it was at the beginning of the shift, so it could have been an informal meeting. It could have been union, but um, it, that's nothing that um, I've been told. And so any speculation on that um, is purely speculation. Last night you were able to identify all the victims. What is there a goal for the investigation tonight? Is there a piece of information you guys are working to get out next? No, just still processing the scene to try to figure out, make sure that we talk to all the, all of the witnesses and and everything else that we can do. There's search warrants being done on um, social media accounts, if any, um, cell phones. See if we can piece together the investigation. How long do you think you all will be sweeping that the building there? Um, you know, probably I know you all are very methodical yeah. um, in doing that. So how long do you think that'll be? I think it'll be at least another day. Okay. Um, after after today, um, just because of the spread out nature, and I'm not sure if where the shootings happened, if those were the only buildings that he went to, and we'll see what we can do to determine that. Have you all found anything at this point? It's been almost 24 hours. Can you tell us on that? Well, you know, it's not about finding things necessarily. You know, we did find the explosives. We know where the victims were. Um, we know where the suspect um, was. Um, it's we're going to do a lot of trajectory. Um, we don't know how many shots were fired at this point, but that's something that we'll be able to determine from the crime scene, uh, looking at the victims and the trajectory and seeing um, what we can find with that. Gotcha. What, so, can you tell us more about the guns? Are they legal guns? Are they um, on their face? Just by viewing the photograph, they would be legal firearms in California. Um, I don't know if they were modified in any way, but they were semi-automatic. Um, uh, handguns, pistols. Were they both discharged? I don't know at this point, but we will be able to tell that through ballistics, uh, whether or not um, both firearms were fired, because we'll do that that testing. And no law enforcement at any point fired any shots? It was the minute he saw law enforcement, he took his own life? That's correct. No shots were fired by law enforcement, and no um, sheriff's deputies or police um, officers were injured. Have the it's body been removed out? yet by any chance? I'm sorry, what? Have the bodies been removed? Yes, they have. Yes. Uh, the house, uh, his house. Can you speak about the scene and what's been found there? Any, any good clues? You know, um, obviously our detectives are talking with San Jose detectives. That is in their jurisdiction. They're processing that. But obviously we're working on it um, uh, jointly. Anything that they found there, you'll have to get that information. But, you know, like we have said and has been put out already that there were explosives found there. Can you just repeat really quickly, today? he had two semi-automatic pistols and how many um, said rounds? 11, um, magazines. 11 you know, magazines. People call them clips sometimes, but yeah, 11 magazines that, that had ammunition in them. And none of them were illegal inside, they were all California compliant that we that we know of. You know, um, by just the appearance before any more forensics are done, it appears, they appear to look like legal firearms. I don't know about anything about modification. I uh, don't know about the type of rounds. Okay. Your message to the community today? That everybody in this community is, is touched by this incident. And my heart goes out to the families. One of our staff had a family member um, that, that was lost. I'm just so sorry. We have to put a stop to this, but I also want the community to know the heroics of the, the deputies that entered entered the scene, and and I hope that there's always an appreciation for law enforcement and what they do. How are they holding up? Um, they're doing well. Uh, what was difficult for all the deputies that were in there is uh, the people who had already been shot when they entered. That That's also a very much of a difficulty for them. Um, especially since they tried to rescue at the same time after um, after the suspect was no longer a threat. Now, I know that you said that you may never know a motive for this shooting, but sometimes you have um, shooters who leave manifestos or yes. notes. Have you found anything that could lead you to a motive? Um, not yet, but obviously we've been doing search um, searches on e uh, search warrants on emails and telephones, and we'll be able to see texts and things like that. Those kinds of things may lead to something. I don't know if um, there have been any written documents found so far, not that I'm aware of. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.